movies are great. And because of that, I'm going to be creating six of the best, most iconic movies ever created in existence. Out of Lego to appease Jimmy. My name is Lego Minifigure Jimmy. Because all he does now is watch Mr. Beast videos and eat Cheetos all day. Not good. The builds in this video gradually become better and better. So stick around to the end to see the results. So the first Lego set we're making is from the movie Jaws. To summarize Jaws, big shark in the ocean equals very scary. There you go. You just watched the movie. It's a certified hood classic for sure. And with that, I set off building the foundation of the building, placing down a layer of water, then building the boat. All the while, I'm thinking Jimmy is going to, of course, like this. Hopefully. I added some white studs for bubbles coming from the ocean and started to build the cabin of the ship with these black, sand, and dark red bricks. I also tried to recreate all the fishing equipment that was on the Jaws ship and all the extra details, like the ropes and poles. And finally, I was finished. Bruh. In my opinion, it for sure looked at least like a boat. And for that, I'm proud of it. However, I don't think Jimmy liked it at all. He kind of got eaten by a shark. After that fail, I wanted to see if AI could build better iconic Bruh. movies than me. So naturally, I went on ChatGPT and asked it to create a Lego set from a famous movie that I would recreate in Lego. And boy, oh god, did it give me some results, which I'll show you a little bit later. But it's on to the next movie, which is going to be The Lion King. This is a super small movie. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Basically, there's like a lion and like other animals. But the point is, in The Lion King, the lions get this nice rock, right? And they hold up the baby lion to show to the whole animal kingdom. So that's what we're going to be recreating. I first laid down two base plates to put the foundation on, then slowly but surely built up the rock with some dark gray and green pieces mixed in with some sand. I honestly really had a hard time with this. I'm not even going to lie. I seriously wanted to burn this thing down to the ground. But eventually, I got it to work and added in all the diverse animals in the scene. And here it is. Looks just like the scene. But Jimmy did not like this moth again. After that, I immediately moved on to Back to the Future, baby. You best believe it. This is one of the best film series ever made. And for this scene, we're recreating the town hall where Doc climbs up on the clock tower to provide power from a lightning bolt to the DeLorean. To kick this off, we're laying down the foundation with some dark bluish gray and a line of light gray. The stairs are next, and slowly but surely, I built up the front of the town hall. We got Doc up by the clock in the movie and Marty driving the car. This thing is perfect. May God have mercy. But apparently, Jimmy said that he's a little scared of the future. I don't know what he's on about either. But we have to please Jimmy. So naturally, I went back to the classics because the next movie we got up is the Wizard of Oz. And while we're at it, you may as well like and subscribe. I mean, it's free. So I went to work. I laid down this bright green base plate and yellow tile pieces for the gold bro, making sure to include bricks where the minifigures could stand. I, of course, made the Emerald City and threw in some flowers to stop it from looking like trash. And luckily, Lego made most Wizard of Oz characters. And I have them all. It's Whoa. not that big of a deal. No. Really not. No. Stop. Whoa. Stop. I would tell you all of their names, but I really never watched the movie. And Jimmy also never read the books or watched the movie. And he told me he hated it. But there's still hope that he'll like the two other mocks coming up in this video. Just like there's still hope that you can still like and subscribe. I think it's time we check up on the absolute Lego atrocity the AI cooked up for us. The AI gave us an iconic movie, as well as the parts list and detailed instructions on how to build it. But these things were absolutely no help. They, they're awful. Did you guess that it's supposed to be Jurassic Park? No, what? But now it's time for the next mock, which is going to be from Top Gun Maverick. I saw this movie a couple months ago, and the main thing that you need to know about this glorious piece of film is that it has very cool fighter jets, a lot of action scenes, oh, and uh, Tom Cruise. He flew numerous fighter jets, but we're going to be focusing on one in particular, the F-18. Unfortunately, I didn't record the building process like an absolute Neanderthal. So here's just the finished product instead. I mean, this thing looks absolutely sick and is very movie accurate. What? Psych! This thing is absolute garbage and I built an even better version of it. Right here. And compared to the other build, it is so much larger. I'm honestly super happy how this Top Gun mock came out. And I don't even care what Jimmy has to say about this one. I just hate it. No, Jimmy, I didn't mean it. No, no. Now, gentlemen, it's time to recreate the final movie on this list, which is going to be Star Wars Episode 2, The Attack of the Clones. Now, the scene I'm going to recreate is probably one of the largest battles in Star Wars history, which is the Battle of Geonosis. There are literally millions Millions of droids and clones on this battle and uh, I'm not rich I can't afford millions of clones and get my hands on that much plastic but I do have a pretty sizable army so I'm gonna make the best I first laid down all the droids that I physically have then of course all the Republic Clone Wars stuff including three Republic gunships two ATTEs and two Venator class Star Destroyers with it all done we now have the Battle of Eunosis recreated in Lego that's a win in my book. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, you're definitely gonna like it when I recreated famous memes in Lego. Right here. Peace.